<clears throat> All right. Well, hey, everybody. Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. What I have in my hot little hands today is the Atmazoo Tripod RTA right out of the gate. This is just an expensive high-end RTA. If we're going to play vid budget hands right at the beginning here, yeah, it's about $122, about 122 US dollars. But thankfully, Thankfully, Vapor Swaggins hit me up and said, hey, I might be able to get you a deal on one of them tripod RTAs. What you think? <laughs> I said, it would have to be a pretty good deal. What kind of deal? Ended up paying exactly $100 for this. This was back in December. So I got this in December and I ended up just not doing anything with it for about a month. I eventually got it built and I was using it just nonstop with the restricted lung. The restricted lung portion of this tank that it can do is spectacular, beautiful, beautiful restricted lung. A few more weeks go by, I flip it over to the mouth to lung and I installed the one millimeter airflow insert in there. It was a little bit too tight. So what I wanna do today is tear this down, clean it. We're gonna rebuild it with some coil turd mouth to lung uh, fuse Claptons in here. And we're gonna switch the mouth to lung insert, I think from the one millimeter, I don't know what, to something else, something a little bit more open. But but that's enough rambling, let's just get to it, go. <clears throat> all right, yeehaw, well here we go, at Mizzou, tripod, these are all the parts. Whoops, missing an O-ring here. So first things first, almost nothing on the at Mizzou tripod threads together. The only parts of the tank that thread together are right here. The chimney holds the glass to the top cap. Top cap? Yeah, I guess it's a top cap. That's all the threading. Everything else, this is held onto the base with tabs and the top is also held on with tabs. Little precise tabs where you have to line up little dots and things. So here's the deck right here. You can see they use these nice big Phillips head screws. That's just my dirty ass round wire build I was rocking in here coming out right away. So the deck, yeah, I mean, saying it without saying it, it's a little K funny. It's just a single coil RTA. Nice big cotton catch cups right there. And then apart from the deck, you're also going to see this little number right here. And this is a little replaceable airflow adjuster. Right there's the one millimeter insert. And then if we look in here, which this requires like a tool to get out the certificate of authenticity. We got some more 1.2, 1.5, 1.8. In addition to the exterior AFC, you now have another airflow control right below your coils. And for a good mouth to lung, they know what they're doing. I installed the one millimeter and it was just far too tight. Really very too tight for me. I like a little bit more open of a mouth to lung, you know. So I think today, in addition to installing one of these coil turd mouth to lung coils, I think we're going to swap out the one millimeter. We're gonna skip the 1.2. We're gonna go right here, right to that 1.5 millimeter airflow. Oh, and this is the stock drip tip it comes with. I really dislike it. That's why it's in the box. Spare O-rings, and not just spare O-rings. It comes with this little paper board that shows you this is the size of the O-rings in case you need to replace them yourself. Uh, that's great. Extra screws and yeah, shout out Vapor Swaggins getting me the deal on this. I'm just gonna leave your stickers at the bottom of my Atmazoo package. <laughs> that's kind of fucked up. These are just held in here with an O-ring and they're pretty easy to pop in and out. Little flathead screwdriver will kind of release it. I need to strong arm it. It'll come out. 1.5 millimeters gonna go in. It's a very nice little notch cut out for your tool when you're building, but that notch also helps you center that little airflow controller uh, you know, insert and kind of press it down. We are going to be running this expensive RTA unironically on what is essentially maybe $10 worth of Chinese hardware. Little Jabo Rillo Mini. You can see right there that AFC on the bottom, open, closed, real smooth, real glidey. I mean, this is a high-end RTA, all of the fit and finish, really pretty. So like I said, let's do a quick install. That deck is, uh... Deck is dirty. I'm try to clean this up. That's a little bit gross. A thousand times better. I love these screws. They're great. They're big, beefy, nice threading. They're nice flat top screws. They're gonna hold that wire down. And they've got a lot of travel room in there. You can really pull them out really far. All right, let's get this built.
and here's where the Atmazoo tripod can screw you. This lead is clipped and it's just a hair too long and pe sticking out past this deck. It's gonna short out on the chimney. This one I actually feel like I got uh, pretty close. I think we'll be good on that. This one I fucked up and couldn't get in there any closer so I had to resort to the flip it up technique so it doesn't short out on the chimney. It glows. 1.14 ohms. All right, let's get you wicked. Ding. Ding. Friggin ding. <sighs> I don't know why it won't work. Guess I'm gonna have to wick this the old school way. Fairly deep cotton cups means I'm gonna cut this out like down here. <sighs> Now we're just eyeballing. Went ahead and thinned out my cotton a little bit too. I could feel it going in. I'm feeling like this is a little bit too much cotton, so I thinned it out a little bit. And I use the same technique here that I do for a K fun. Thumb up. Press. Real easy and truly and honestly, it doesn't even need to be perfect because this has a juice flow control on it that you can utilize if you over or under wick it. So now that we're built and wicked and juice, we're gonna put this Atmazoo tripod back together. And like I said, it's some tabs. There's a mark right here on the negative side by the screw. And that is going to line up with that arrow on the chimney. See how this is coming together? Two arrows lining up. Ah, perfect. All of the machining on this is beautiful, and with this tab system, it has to be. The only thing that confuses me about this Atmazoo tripod is this knurled bit right here. I don't know if this is an insert that threads out or goes in and out. From the top, it does kind of look like it should. From the bottom, it does kind of look like it should as well, although it doesn't, so it's just, it's there. If you are more well-versed in the Atmazoo tripod world and you're screaming at your computer screen right now, please kindly leave a gentle comment down below and let me know what that's for. Glass goes on. Straight glass, which I love the aesthetic of. So that's it, it's all together. And you can see if you grab this whole portion right here, that's how you adjust your juice flow. And also when the tank is full, lining up these tabs gives you the ability to pop the deck out and you know, whatever. Whatever. Rebuild it, re-wick it, fiddle with it, clean it off, stick it back in, in the full tank of juice. Bleh. Notches and tabs again for the top. There is a little arrow on your top cap and you're gonna line it up with this tiny little dot right here. Down, just give it a little twist to lock it. And that is a fully built, wicked, filled up Atmazoo tripod sitting on top of this little uh, Jabo Wismac Relo Mini. Got that 1.5 millimeter mouth to lung airflow insert in there. Uh, let's Let's get back out to normal view and vape it. View. It's just really boring watching someone on YouTube vape a mouth to lung. Right out of the gate, the 1.5 airflow insert is a marked improvement over the one millimeter. The one millimeter, don't get me wrong, it's nice and tight, but for me personally, my personal preference is it's just too tight. It's very much more like you would expect from like a jewel, like that kind of tight. This, a little bit nicer, a little bit more K-funny, a little bit more open, and damn it, it's just a beautifully smooth, delicious vape. Mm. God, it's good. So when you're using the direct lung, you're only gonna be using the airflow on the bottom. You're not gonna be using any of those inserts. Those inserts are really just for mouth to lung vaping. Pop that insert out and you're gonna use the bottom AFC. And like I said, really, really nice restricted lung. I have it in mouth to lung mode right now, so I can't like, quickly or easily swap it over, you're just gonna have to take my word for it. When you're vaping it in mouth to lung, that bottom AFC kind of just becomes superfluous. You don't really need it. All your airflow is being controlled by that insert right underneath your coils. And for good flavor, that's where you wanna constrict the airflow is right underneath your coils. They did it right. All right, watch out. We're getting a little crazy on this mouth to lung coil here. 12.3 watts for a 1.2 ohm coil. Still nice. Still nice, a little warmer. I just, is it apparent? I really love this RTA. Yes, it is an expensive high-end RTA, but yes, it's also an expensive high-end RTA, which means all of the fit and finish, all of the machining are just 
beautifully. It's beautifully machined precision out the ass. When I first saw those two little tabs and I'm like, oh God, you have to take the tank off with tabs. If this were a one pass Chinese machine tank, those tabs would be a nightmare. But because this is a high end $122 atomizer that is beautifully precisionly machined, those little tabs are honestly delightful to use. They just lock and snap perfectly. Before I got this RTA, the highest end kind of RTA stuff I was using was a K-Fon. And look, I love a K-Fon, tried and true, just give me a K-Fon, I'll vape it. I forgot how cool and fun and nerdy it is to get a really, really nice RTA and just build it and the ceremony and everything that goes into it. And just, you're using this beautiful device that every time, every time I'm building it, I'm like impressed. Every time, like, Holy shit, I, I forgot what it's like to have a really beautiful, nice, high-end RTA. If all you're used to are like Chinese, you know, mouth to lung tanks, maybe venture off into a little bit more expensive stuff because it's not just expensive for being expensive, it's expensive because it's beautiful. Anyway, that's kind of all I got. A lot of pros on this RTA. I mean, kind of literally everything. I like the airflow in mouth to lung, assuming I chose the right insert. I like the airflow for the restricted lung. I like the flavor on both. I guess a con would be the drip tip. I don't like the way it looks or I, and I don't like the way it feels in my mouth. That's actually a drip tip from a grim kit on there. I can't say this enough, beautifully precision machining on this. I love the look of it. I love these clean lines, this clean, slick, slick aesthetic. I guess the price is kind of a gripe. It's expensive, 122 bucks, but I'm telling you, if you save up and you use your vape budget hands, if you're looking for a high-end mouth-to-lung RTA that also does, I mean, not just amazing mouth-to-lung, awesome restricted lung, I really need to stop stroking this RTA so hard, don't I? I just really, really like like it and I'm really very happy with my purchase. So with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. YouTube doesn't allow links in the description, but it is the at Mizzou tripod. Use your Google Foo, use your Google Foo and see if uh, the tripod's going to fit into your vape budget hands. I guess I don't need to say this, but Aliens game, yeah, I'd buy it. I already bought it. I'd buy it again. I, I'm not going to be without my at Mizzou tripod moving forward. It's, uh, it's, kind of sidelined my K-Fun a little bit. Thank you, seriously, so much for watching. And remember, no matter what anybody tells you, absolutely, guys, let's keep on vaping.